And that's what brings us to one of the great discoveries in the early years of this century, the development of the cloud chamber. Now, Bryson Gore has been building this cloud chamber here for several months. It's taken months of his life out. And indeed, this sort of thing here that Bryson has built, the word has already got around, and people are phoning up and asking advice on how to build these things from him. So this in itself is an amazing piece of apparatus that we've got here. Down the bottom here, we've got some coolant, which is keeping this whole evacuated thing at the top here nice and cool, and mists are forming inside it. You can see the mists forming as we look. This originally was invented by a man called Charles Wilson. He used to go hiking in the Scottish Highlands. He really loved the, the mists, and he tried to reproduce them in the laboratory. He wanted to make atmosphere of his own to study things with. And as a result of that, stumbled on this amazing fact that you will see shooting around little trails. Clouds seem to spontaneously form. The reason here is that in the middle, we have got a source of radiation, an alpha particle emitter, an alpha radioactivity. The alpha particles are shooting out, and as they do so, the mist forms on them. You're not actually seeing the particles, you're seeing their footprints seeing where they have been. It's like a plane coming into land and you see the mist forming on the wingtips. Now this was such an amazing development that Rutherford himself said, at last we've got a telescope that we can look inside the atom and see what's going on. Here for the first time you're actually seeing matter breaking down, radiating away, the trails of those alpha particles shooting out into the mist. Now that is lovely. And I think Bryson's done a remarkable job here producing this for us. I find it amazing as I watch it. It's like eerie seeing these things happening right before us. 